Coming right up and coming soon. Guess what, man? I actually got really thrilled about this first this first trailer. <laughs> like stupid excited about Bullet Train featuring yeah, right? Brad Pitt. Out of um, fucking nowhere. Dude, yeah. Um, I, I, obviously, you've seen the trailer uh, with Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum, and they're lost in the jungle or whatever, and and Brad Pitt shows up out of nowhere to like save Sandra Bullock. Clearly, it doesn't work out because he's not in the rest of the movie. And she's like, why are you so good looking? He's like, my dad was a weatherman. And I'm like, that's a great <laughs> line. <laughs> you just wasted it in the yeah. trailer. <laughs> Why would you love that? First I saw thing? that trailer for the first time in fucking <laughs> uh, at the movie last night, and I was like, "What is this movie?" And Ashley looks at me, and she's like, "Doesn't this movie look fucking terrible, but also hilarious?" At I'm the gonna same watch time? it. I'm gonna watch it. Yeah. I, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm definitely gonna watch it. I think um, for me, I, I like the fact that like for the the past couple of things that I've actually I truly remember Brad Pitt being in. It's been like really serious like pieces like. Uh, what was the movie where he was in Tank War or in a, in a tank? Oh, fuck. Uh, Fury. Thank you very much. Fury. Shot a boost in that movie. A couple other people. Really, really oh, God. Uh, Punisher is in that movie, right? So that I thought was a good good movie. Obviously, we've got Glorious Bastards, things like that. But kind of sprinkled in recently, it's been Deadpool 2 as the Invisible Man. You've got this now. And then this kind of was like the, another jarring, out of left field, the, yeah. the hell, why, why is he in this? And at, at the very beginning of this trailer, I was like, oh, this is awesome. And then Brad Pitt shows up. I'm like, now it looks more awesome? Like, why am I more excited? But anyway, a train killer, Ladybug, wants to give up the life, but is pulled back in by his handler, Maria Beetle in order to collect a briefcase on a bullet train heading from Tokyo to Morioka? Morioka? Mallorca. Mallorca? Are you sure? M-A. What is it? M-O-R-I-O-K-A. Morioka. That's what I said. You're right. Once on board, he and the other competing assassins on board can discover that their objectives are all connected. We got Brad Pitt, Joey King... Aaron Taylor Johnson, for those that don't remember Aaron Taylor Johnson, I'm pretty sure that is Quicksilver. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is, he's got three names, right? Uh, Brian Tyree Henry, a.k.a. Crazy from Hunter. The Eternals uh, and Atlanta. Uh, he's many, so many good more. in Atlanta. Paper boy, paper bulb, paper, all about my paper, paper boy. boy. Yes, sir. Uh, this, this movie is set to come out the day before my birthday, 2022. My birthday will come up again later. Uh, just saying. So July fifteenth, twenty twenty two. What can me? we make all of the release dates around your birthday? Can we? My Elden Ring I, comes out six months before my birthday. I, I just want to have like. I just, oh, they're they're all relative. I think they're it's all great. relative to your birthday. I, I'm totally down with like that. Actually, Doctor Strange in the it's like what day is your birthday? Oh, uh, it's only ninety four days before my birthday, right? Like whatever it is. There you go. <laughs> yeah. See, because <laughs> it, it's it's. It's funny. I love I love myself. Love my name. Love my birthday. Because um, nobody else does. I'm. I gotta at least try to pick up the slack, right? But um, but I mean, July, middle of July. It's like my month, birthday month. Um, I mean, guess who shares my birthday? It's not just me. It's Will Ferrell. So I mean, you can't you can't double lose on it. But this looks great. Uh, I, I definitely am. I'm curious. Sandra Bullock's also in this. No. She she's the this. chick on the phone. She's Maria Beetle. Is this just a, a campaign for the other movie? This is this has <laughs> got to be like a, a casting director's wet dream. If Channing Tatum shows up, I'm gonna lose it. I'm suing somebody. Just even if he gets murdered, and like, hey, what's up, bro? Beep. Just <laughs> first scene. Like, I, I, I want to leave this life. I lost my brother, and it's Channing Tatum. Just gone. <laughs> that would be wild. Anyway, the trailer was great. Um, I hope, I hope, I hope it's it's fantastic i'm definitely gonna watch it regardless come but right next after it fantastic beats three the secrets of dumbledore let's return to the magic dom let's do it there's so much magic in this trailer that i'm <laughs> fucking hyped bro it's this so, so cool good it's so good it's i i honestly like i've only i've got a favorite character and i'm i'm gonna throw it out there i want you to try to guess it i know you've seen the first two guess what he's in it 
Any idea? Kowalski. Yeah, bro. Of course I want that yeah. human to have a wand, man. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Can I keep this? Yes, you can. Uh, this, I've been <laughs> saying since the beginning. And, like, I get that Johnny Depp has gone through some shit. I've been saying since the beginning, since before they yes. even casted this movie. I know where you're going. That Mads Mikkelsen yes, he would be the best Grindelwald the whole time. of all time. The whole time. I've been saying it the whole fucking time. The whole time. time. And now I'm getting my vindication. And now it looks like I'm right because you see him for all of 30 seconds in this trailer and you're like, yeah, I get the charisma. I mean, who would sit across from Dumbledore and say, I'm going to burn this place down with or without you? And you're like, I bet he, I bet he could do it. I bet he could do it. Only that guy. Uh, premise, for those that don't know and have, I don't know, just an aversion for Harry Potter, it's set in the 1930s. The story leads up to the Wizarding World's involvement in World War II and will explore the magical communities in Bhutan, Germany, and China, in, additional, in, in, excuse me, in addition to previously established locations, including the United States and the UK, with Gellert, Gellert, Gellert? Have I been saying his name weird? Anyway, Grindelwald's power rapidly Gellert growing. Grindelwald. Gellert Grindelwald. His power rapidly growing. Albus Dumbledore entrusts Newt's commander and his friends with a mission leading to a clash with Grindelwald's army. Dumbledore must also decide how long he will stay on the sidelines in the approaching war. Um, I'm excited about it for many reasons. Obviously, uh, in the Harry Potter kind of universe, before, it, before any of these... You know, we, we knew that Dumbledore defeats Grindelwald, right? We find out later that they were not just, you know, friends. They were more than friends. They were not just like brothers. They were closer than brothers. They were lovers, man. Get past it. However, when you love somebody, what's, what's better than a prenup? Hey, look, we're both powerful. We're both badass. Let's make a little prenup. Let's make this little blood pack so that we can't fight and hurt each other. That sounds great. So now you can just throw spells at each other and nothing happens. Uh-oh. Guess what? I'm going to turn evil and try to kill all the non-magic people in the world. Uh, non-magic. Didn't see that coming. Whoopsies. Um, well, here we are. Hopefully uh, we'll get a cool way of like disabling this blood pack between the two of them. Um, again, you mentioned uh, Johnny Depp's departure. I think... The only credence to the storyline that kind of works is the fact that Polyjuice Potion seems to just run in the streets. You just open a tap, uh, take some glass, get a little bit of that Polyjuice Potion in your cup, and then turn to somebody else for a little bit because, you know, we had um, Colin Farrell in the first movie. Then we had Johnny Depp in the second one. Now we've got uh, Mads Mikkelsen. So shouldn't be too hard to make that stretch. I'm just curious if they're going to actually address it and have Johnny Depp's face melt away in the film so oh that would be interesting we'll see how it goes otherwise we're just like gonna assume he's a time lord and just regenerated and we're not allowed to ask questions but next up upload season two did you ever watch this i watched like the it is the one with robbie ml yes sir couldn't get into it what i tried it I what it. What? Yeah. what 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 why not I said the same thing. She was like, I love the show. And I'm like, I really didn't. It's so great. He's getting assassinated by future people. And then his rich girlfriend is dumb and then melts his skull and he gets uploaded into the internet. It's just, I know it's far fetched, but once you get past that, we're, we're looking at a digital terrifying prison. Come on. That's the best. In 2023, sorry, 2033, humans are able to upload themselves into a virtual afterlife of their choosing. When computer programmer Nathan dies prematurely, he is uploaded to the very expensive Lakeview, but then finds himself under the thumb of his possessive, still-living girlfriend, Ingrid. As Nathan adjusts to the pros and cons of digital heaven, he bonds with Nora, his living customer service rep. Nora struggles with the pressures of her job, her dying father who does not want to be uploaded, and her growing feelings for Nathan while slowly coming to believe that Nathan was murdered. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's right away. My favorite thing with movies is like when the audience has a secret, 
with like one character in this show that every other character doesn't know. We're just like waiting. Just look at this. Look at the clip. Look at the clip. He's screaming, don't do this. And then they murder him or whatever. And then every character is like, oh, he's just faking it. There's no proof. And we're like, we saw it. There's so many people in this room that saw it. Why didn't you see it? I just, I love movies like that. It's my favorite. Uh, but no, it was at least fairly quickly like comical. And what I love is the fact that like, like for you all in, in this universe is a very expensive neighborhood. It's truly kind of like flipping the middle finger at like a freemium model where you get all this stuff and you can technically be here for free. But if you want to actually enjoy anything at all, it's going to cost you some paper. And his girlfriend is just the worst human being. She had a funeral for him, brought all his friends, and he's dead. He's literally just a screen. And he gets a, a camera view of what's happening in the real world and gets to see all his friends show up and hit on his girlfriend. Like, and can't do shit about it because, you know, he's dead and he's digital. Right. Like, it's torture. And of course, she's like, "Oh, I just I don't even like Scott or whatever. He just he just is so grabby." And he's like, "What do you mean grabby? You know, like something he could never do again." But I can't wait for the new season coming on March 11th. 